Hey friends, welcome to Hot News. It is Friday. Hope you're doing well. Check out Displates, that dope metal prints, displate.com forward slash UFD Tech Official. They have tons of metal prints, not just the Goku one, but also amazing ones of nature, of cities, of everything you could possibly imagine. Use coupon code UFD to save 15% right now off of everything that you could possibly want on their store. So let's just jump right on into it, which is talking about the things that you should probably consider buying right now before it's too late and everything goes crazy, because it already kind of has. It's kind of bad. So in case you haven't heard, there's a trade war going on between Japan and South Korea. We're not talking about the trade war between America and China. No, this is a different one. And this is something that's actually affect affecting RAM and NAND manufacturing. So SSDs and RAM for computers has been uh, severely compromised with people expecting a 10 to 15% hike in the short term on these prices and then potentially even long-term damage from that because of an ongoing trade war issue. Apparently it has to do with some uh, acids that have to be exported but actually can't because of this trade war and so it's potentially going to lead to one of the worst price hikes that we've seen this year and from what I've gathered from talking to other sources they're already kind of putting a moratorium on ordering RAM at this point because they know they're not going to be able to produce enough to meet orders so it might be even worse than what this is saying um, but at, at the very least RAM and SSDs, buy them now before they spike. It's just, we'll leave an Amazon link in the video description for you to pick up these great deals. Use it, um, but it's it's because, yeah, it's it might get bad or it could be resolved quickly, just like the whole US Huawei thing. It was like terrible. And then it was like oh, two weeks later, everything's fine. You can sell Huawei stuff again. Good job. But more memory news, Toshiba is actually rebranding to Kioxia in October. Apparently it means memory and they decided that Toshiba Memory Holdings Corporation was a terrible name and so they just are choosing to do something differently. And then Samsung has actually announced that they are producing the world's first 12 gigabit per second LP DDR5 RAM for phones, which is 30% faster than the LP DDR4X that is currently out there, which Quite good, quite good. Should be in phones probably next year. It's the second iteration of Samsung's 10 nanometer chips for RAM, lecker. And then Corsair is actually launching a 32 gigabyte dim stick for desktop. So you could actually have a mini ITX system with just two slots and get 64 gigs, no problem. Good job, Corsair. And AMD is doing something that nobody thought they would do. Just like you think Japan and South Korea, who thinks trade war? If you think AMD and Intel, who thinks agreement on things? Well, everybody now, because AMD is joining the CXL consortium. And in case you don't remember, CXL is a new uh, standard that Intel is developing for communication uh, within platforms. It's kind of like PCI Express, but not exactly. But AMD is now a part of it because they like to do things that are best for everybody supposedly, except for BIOS updates because of the latest one. The AGE SA 1.0.0.3 ABA is buggy and had to be pulled back from certain motherboards uh, vendors because they had to roll it out way too quickly and like compatibility wasn't, and it sucked. So in case, don't, don't always update your BIOS. Only update your BIOS if you need to. And even then, make a spare key. Moving on. Navi cards, we're getting ref we're custom models. Azrock has announced their Challenger card for the RX 5700 series. It's actually kind of cool. I like it a little bit. And then there's also a picture of the MSI 5700 mech, which just looks like their Ventus, but I guess it's not. I like it, but what, why did they change the branding? I don't know. But you know who else wants to change branding? Oh, that's not, that doesn't work at all. Uh, Ubisoft has reported that their best selling platform has been the PC. It has toppled the PS4, which held the crown for quite some time for them. And uh, yeah, PC, most profitable for Ubisoft. And yesterday, Ubisoft also mentioned that porting games to Google Stadia isn't all that costly and should be fairly simple to get most games supported on the platform. We'll see how that actually works considering, wait, they don't make Destiny 2. That's that's somebody else. Never mind. That's Activision Blizzard, who doesn't even do it anymore. Never mind. Forget that thought that went on in my head. It was a bad thought. And then Google held the AMA on Reddit yesterday for Google Stadia, which is why we have a little bit of Google Stadia news. And they said that anybody who's trying to compare Stadia to Netflix has the wrong idea. Stadia Pro, which is the $10 a month subscription for uh, getting 4K gaming, is more akin to Xbox Live or PlayStation Plus. You'll get one free game a month, and then you just have access to online features. I kind of get it like that. Actually, if you sell it like that, it's not a terrible idea. And then really all you're buying is a controller. That's not bad. 
That, that, that is not bad for games. Ah, it's all right. It's all right. I understand. I understand. And then also, the uh, Stadia controller is supposedly going to have Bluetooth audio support, just not when they launch it, because they have to get that ready for whatever reason. So Bluetooth audio is gonna be on the controller, just not at launch. And then if you wanna be terrified today, if you wanna see the most disturbing thing that you could possibly see in your entire week. Can I take a guess? Yeah, go ahead. Cats trailer. It's the cats trailer, oh my gosh. The most horrific computer generated cats I've ever seen, Why, just, the, it's a Broadway thing. Why does it have to come out for a movie? No, this is just, no, no, go, no. Speaking of other things that you might shout no for, diapers. In fact, Pampers has actually come out with a smart diaper that is basically just an optical reader to examine a line that turns blue when the diaper is wet and then will notify you when the baby needs to be changed. I like the idea. It's actually not as, uh, intuitive as I thought it would. It's just checking to see if there's a blue line, which you could also do by just, you, if anybody has kids, you pull out the pants, you look, oh, hey, it's a wet diaper. It's the same freaking thing, except for you're getting a notification on your phone. But Pampers is also partnered with Logitech to develop a Circle 2 security camera for the baby's room. So Pampers and Logitech making smart, home baby stuff. And we reported on this, I think last week, that there was gonna be a live stream of my favorite car, which is the Corvette. Well, it has been unveiled. Look at the beauty. That is the 2020 Corvette Stingray. Mm, love it so much. I can't afford it, but I can in my dreams. Speaking of dreams, have you ever had that dream where people just give you free stuff or like you'd be on Oprah and she'd be like, you get a car and you get a car and you get a car. Well, if you were on a Southwest flight yesterday, you got a free Nintendo Switch and Mario Maker 2. It's fantastic. Not, not if you were on any Southwest flight, specific Southwest flight. They got, everybody got free Nintendo Switches and Mario Maker 2, because Southwest and Nintendo partnered up to just give free stuff out to everybody. And then in the article that caught my eye the most today, and has nothing to do with tech, but has to do with my childhood, is Neopets friendship still thrives 20 years later. This is an article on CNET where they're talking about a birthday post that like had Neopets. For the, I, anyways, I, I played that virtual pet game all the time when I was a kid. And in case you want your mind blown even more, check out this video by People Make Games where he ties Neopets to Scientology. It is the trippiest thing. You didn't realize that it was actually eventually run by Scientologists. It's the weirdest connection that you could possibly ever make between a harmless kid's game and then what could be described by some as a cult. And other people would describe it as a religion. And other people would say that it's just a tax exempt scheme. And other people would say that this is the end of hot news because I'm not going there. So don't forget to check out Displates at displate.com forward slash UFD tech official. Get your dope metal prints. They, they're so gorgeous. Use coupon code UFD, save 15%. Why wouldn't you want to save money? And they plant trees. You want trees, don't you? You want to breathe. You want a place for your children who wear smart diapers to have when they grow up. Yeah, well they plant 10 trees for every displate sold. So go ahead and buy them anyways. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode of Hot News. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our news related content. We're gonna take a break this weekend, but we'll be back on Monday and we'll see you there. I'm Brett with the Hot News Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see your smiling faces again in the next video.